The scientific journal Regulatory Toxicology and Pharmacology has officially retracted a landmark study from the year 2000 that claimed the weed killer glyphosate was safe for humans. The retraction follows years of scrutiny and internal corporate emails that were made public during litigation. These documents suggest the paper, which concluded that glyphosate poses no cancer risk, may have been ghostwritten by Monsanto employees. The journal's editor-in-chief cited serious editorial concerns regarding the independence of the authors in the original study. He noted that the paper almost exclusively relied on unpublished studies from Monsanto and failed to disclose the financial compensation provided to the listed researchers. For 25 years, this study was a foundational document for regulatory agencies worldwide, including the EPA, to justify the continual approval of Roundup. While Bayer continues to stand behind the safety of its products, critics argue that the research highlights decades of corporate influence in scientific research. This development comes as a Bayer-backed lobbying group continues its efforts to gain liability immunity for glyphosate and other herbicides and pesticides. The Supreme Court could make a final decision on a case involving glyphosate, which could have massive ramifications for the future of litigation with glyphosate and other pesticides. As always, be sure to give me a follow for more videos on food farming and health, and be sure to check out my free farm app with over 7,000 local food sources, as well as my heirloom seeds and organic goods.